I'm Denise, the Koala Mama. When the coronavirus pandemic started, a lot of people used Instacart to fulfill their grocery shopping needs. However, my husband and I had been using Instacart long before the start of the pandemic because, quite frankly, neither of us like grocery shopping and, well, we're kind of lazy. However, as I've been doing these price comparisons, I knew that I needed to take another look at Instacart and determine what those real costs were and whether those costs were really worth the convenience. So in my previous video, I found that Ralph's was the most expensive place to buy groceries in my area and Walmart was the least expensive. The fact that I normally use Instacart to shop Ralph's had me a bit worried. And there were a couple of things that I needed to look into. First, I needed to compare the bottom line of shopping Ralph's through Instacart versus shopping Walmart in person. Second, I knew that the online prices for Instacart were often higher than the in-person prices. So I also needed to see how much more I was paying just by shopping through Instacart. So first, let's look at those online costs on Instacart versus the in-person shelf prices at Ralph's. So this price comparison, I did use my original shopping comparison list from my previous video. I did take a few things off because I could not find exactly the same thing through Instacart that I was finding on the shelf. However, with those items removed, the Instacart price was $9.50 more than the shelf price. For only 21 items, that is a significant markup. Next, I went online to Instacart and shopped all of those items to see how much more I would pay for the service. Now because of sales, the actual price just for the items was almost exactly the same as the in-store price, $131. So fees on that were about 9% or $12, and I always add a 50% tip, so that added another $20. This tacked on an additional $32 for a total of $163 at checkout. So here's the kicker. Those same items at Walmart purchased in person, $94. A difference of almost $70. Wow. So one final comparison. As I mentioned in my previous video, I decided to drop Instacart and start shopping in person. Now. I will be shopping at Winco, not Walmart, because Winco is much closer than the Walmart Superstore in my area. And this week, I did just that. I took my receipt from Winco, went into Instacart, and input all of those items into Ralph's as, as if I was placing an order for delivery. Those items at Ralph's total $232. Add on the service fee of $21 and a tip of $35, and the total was $288. I walked out the door of Winco for $159. That is a savings of $129. $129 for one grocery shopping trip. Holy cow. Holy cow. Even without using Instacart, even if I had bought the same stuff in store at Ralph's, I probably saved at least $50 to $60. Again, one week. I hope you found this video interesting, informative, maybe a bit entertaining. If so, I hope that you will join the Koala Crew and help me build my channel by pressing the subscribe button. No need to smash it, no need to hit it. Just a gentle touch is all that you need to do. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have a quality day.